Factoring polynomials. Factoring by grouping. For a polynomial with four terms, we factor by grouping if it can be done by 1, factoring the first two terms and the last two terms, 2, factoring out the binomial GCF. In this example, factor 10x to the third minus 6x squared plus 15x minus 9. The four terms do not have anything in common. However, if we group the first and second term together, the third and fourth term together, we can factor by grouping. Looking at 10x to the third minus 6x squared, 10 and 6 are both even, so I could factor out a 2. x to the third and x squared, the smallest exponent is x squared, so that's going to be the greatest common factor between x to the third and x squared. Then we look at what's left if we factor out 2x squared. 10x to the third without 2x is 5x to the first, minus 6x squared without 2x squared is just 3. I bring down my plus sign. Now we want to look at 15x minus 9. The 15 and the 9 share a 3, so 15x without 3 is 5x. Bring down my minus, and 9 without 3 is 3. Our first term is 2 times x squared times parentheses 5x minus 3, and our second term is 3 times parentheses 5x minus 3. Our greatest common factor now is our 5x minus 3. So 2x squared times 5x minus 3 without the 5x minus 3 is just 2x squared plus and then 3 times 5x minus 3 without the 5x minus 3 is just 3. Our final answer is 5x minus 3 in one parenthesis and 2x squared plus 3 in the other parenthesis. In this example, factor 2ax squared minus 3bx squared minus 4ay plus 6by. This time, when we group our like terms, we want to group 2ax squared minus 3bx squared in one parenthesis. In our other parenthesis, we want to keep the minus with the 4ay, so I have negative 4ay plus 6by. Since we are putting the parentheses in for our grouping purposes, the sign needs to stay with the 4. We have a plus sign between our parentheses. Anytime you are factoring four terms, there should be a plus sign between the parentheses. Two parentheses beside each other means multiplication, and we're not multiplying these parentheses. Looking at the 2ax squared minus 3bx squared, we need to look at what they have in common. 2 and 3 have nothing in common. I only have an a in the first term. I only have a b in the second term, but both terms have x squared, so that's my greatest common factor. Factoring out the x squared, I'm left with 2a minus 3b. Looking at my second parenthesis, I have negative 4ay plus 6by. Anytime you're leading, term has a negative coefficient, you also want to factor out the negative. 4 and 6 are both even, so I'm going to factor out a negative 2. The third term has an a, the fourth term has a b, so I can't factor out a or b, but they both have a y. So my GCF is negative 2y. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is a positive 2. The y's cancel, so I have 2a. For my term 6by, 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3b, and then the y's cancel each other out. So now my greatest common factor is 2a minus 3b. So factoring out the 2a minus 3b, I'm left with x squared minus 2y.
So my final answer is in my first parentheses 2a minus 3b, my second parenthesis x squared minus 2y. I can always check my answer by using FOIL. Factoring trinomials, method 1. Factoring ax squared plus bx plus c by trial and error. To factor a trinomial of the form ax squared plus bx plus c by trial and error, identify possible products by using the fact that if the trinomial can be factored as a product of two binomials, then the product of the coefficients of the first term of the binomials is equal to a, and the product of the last term of the binomials is equal to c. For example, 15x squared plus 26x plus 8 a is 15, b is 26, c is 8. It factors into 5x plus 2 and 3x plus 4. The coefficient of the first terms, 5 times 3, is equal to 15, which is a. The coefficient of the last terms, 2 times 4, is 8, which is c. To find the correct factored expression, multiply the possible products and identify those for which the coefficient of x is b. One option we have for trial and error is something called the big X. I just draw a large X. The big X gives me four parts. For the top part, I always want to use whatever a times c is from my problem. For the bottom part, I want to use whatever b is. Then the sides, I'm going to divide by a. Then we look for two factors that multiply to be a times c, but add to be b. For our example of 15x squared plus 26x plus 8, the top would be 15 times 8, which is a times c, which is 120. The bottom would be our b, which is 26. Then I want to divide by 15. Now I want to try to find two factors of 120 that will add to be 26. So trying various factors of 120, I'm going to start with 12 times 10. That multiplies to be a positive 120. 12 plus 10 will give me a positive value, but it gives me 22 so that's not going to be an option. Now let's try 20 times 6. 20 plus 6 will give me 26. So I want 20 over 15 and 6 over 15. Reduce your fraction, 20 over 15. I can divide top and bottom by 5, which gives me 4 over 3. For 6 over 15, I can divide top and bottom by 3, which gives me 2 over 5. So when writing our parentheses, what's on bottom goes in front of your x, what's on top goes behind the sign. So 2 over 5 means I have 5x plus 2. Then 3 goes in front of my x, and 4 goes after my sign. So 4 thirds means I have 3x plus 4. So my final answer is 5x plus 2 in one parenthesis, and 3x plus 4 in the other parenthesis. In this example, factor 2x squared plus 13x plus 15. I'm going to start with my x. My top is a times c, 2 times 15, which is 30. My bottom is b, which is 13. Then I divide both sides by 2. So I need two numbers that multiply to be 30, but add to be 13. 5 times 6 will give us 5 plus 6, which is 11. 3 times 10 is 30. 3 plus 10 is 13. 10 over 2 reduces to 5. 3 over 2 does not reduce.
So for one parenthesis, I have x plus 5, and then my other parenthesis, I have 2x plus 3. So my final answer is x plus 5 times 2x plus 3. It does not matter which parenthesis comes first, as long as the 2 and the 3 are in the same parenthesis and the 1 and the 5 are in the same parenthesis. Factoring trinomials, method 2. Factoring ax squared plus bx plus c by grouping. To factor a trinomial of the form ax squared plus bx plus c by grouping, if it can be done, 1. Find pairs of numbers whose product is ac. 2. Determine which of the pairs of numbers from step 1 has the sum b. Call this pair of numbers m and n. 3. Write the bx term as mx plus n x, ax squared plus bx plus c equals ax squared plus mx plus nx plus c. 4. Factor ax squared plus mx plus nx plus c by grouping. Another name for this method is the ac method. So what this method does is it takes your middle term that's added together to be bx and separate it into its two parts. In this example, factor 6x squared minus 19x plus 8. Step 1 is to find a times c, so 6 times 8 is 48. So we want to look at all the factors that multiply to be 48. We need these factors to add to be my middle term, which is a negative 19. So starting with 6 times 8, they have to be negative, because negative 6 plus negative 8 would give us a negative 14. We need them to multiply to be a positive number, but add to be a negative number. That did work, so let's try negative 4 and negative 12. Negative 4 plus negative 12 is negative 16. Okay, so that one didn't work. So let's try negative 3 times negative 16. Negative 3 plus negative 16 is negative 19. So that's the one that we want. So we want to rewrite our problem as 6x squared minus 3x minus 16x plus 8. Then factoring by grouping, I want to group my first two terms together keep the negative with the 16, group the last two terms together, and then look for greatest common factors. Between 6x squared and a negative 3x, I can factor out 3x. That leaves me with 2x minus 1. For my negative 16x plus 8, my leading coefficient is negative, so I'm going to factor out a negative 8, is 2x minus 1. So now I have the common factor of 2x minus 1, which leaves me with 3x minus 8. So our final answer is parentheses 2x minus 1, and your other parentheses 3x minus 8. In this example, factor 3x squared plus 16x minus 12. Using my big X, 3 times negative 12 is negative 36, my b is 16, divide both sides by 3, so I need two numbers that multiply to be a negative 36 but add to be 16. Negative 9 times 4 is 36, but negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5, so that doesn't work. Negative 3 times 12 is 36, but negative 3 plus 12 is 9, so that one doesn't work. Negative 2 times 18 is 36. Negative 2 plus 18 is 16, so that's what we want to use. I can't reduce negative 2 over 3, but I can reduce 18 over 3, which reduces to 6. So in one of my parentheses, I'm going to have 3x minus 2, in my other parenthesis, I'm going to have x plus 6. Final answer, parenthesis, 3x minus 2. In the other parenthesis, x plus 6.
In this example, I have 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. My a is 6 and my c is 2. 6 times 2 is 12. My b is negative 7. Divide both sides by 6. So I need two factors of 12 that multiply to be 12 but add to be a negative 7. So if I use negative 4 and negative 3, negative 4 times negative 3 is a positive 12. Negative 4 plus a negative 3 is a negative 7. I need to reduce. Negative 3 over 6 reduces to negative 1 half. And then negative 4 over 6 reduces to negative 2 thirds. Using the negative 2 thirds, what's on bottom goes in front of your x. 3x minus 2. And then using the negative 1 half, what's on bottom goes in front of the x. 2x minus 1. So for my final answer, in my first parenthesis, I have 3x minus 2. In my second parenthesis, 2x minus 1. In this example, we want to factor 8m squared minus 2m minus 3n squared. The only difference between this problem and the ones we've been doing is instead of having one variable in our answer, we'll have two. Starting with our big X, our a is 8 and our c is negative 3. 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. My b is negative 2. I will need two factors of 24 that multiply to be a negative 24 and add to be a negative 2. Dividing by 8 will give us what we need for our parentheses. So negative 6 times 4 will give us a negative 24, while negative 6 plus 4 will give us a negative 2. Reducing, negative 6 over 8 reduces to negative 3 fourths. 4 over 8 reduces to 1 half. One of my parentheses has 4m minus 3n, and my other parentheses has 2m minus n. So for my final answer, in one parenthesis, I have 4m minus 3n. In my other parenthesis, I have 2m minus n. In this example, we want to factor 8x squared minus 13x minus 6. My a is 8, my c is negative 6, which gives me a negative 48. My b is negative 13. My a is 8. I need two factors of 48 that multiply to be a negative 48 but add to be a negative 13. Negative 12 times 4 gives me a negative 48 but adds to give me a negative 8. Negative 16 times 3 gives me a negative 48 and negative 16 plus 3 gives me a negative 13. So I want to use negative 16 and 3. I can reduce negative 16 over 8 to negative 2. I can't reduce 3 eighths. So in one parenthesis, I have x minus 2. In my other parenthesis, I have 8x plus 3. So my final answer is in one parenthesis, x minus 2. In my other parenthesis, 8x plus 3. In this example, factor 6x squared plus 9x minus 60. For this example, we have a greatest common factor. Factor out your GCF. In this case, it's 3. And that leaves us with 2x squared plus 3x minus 20. For a polynomial to be completely factored, you have to factor out the GCF as well as factoring it into two parentheses. My a is now 2, and my c is negative 20, which gives us negative 40. My b is 3, and I'm going to divide by a. So I need two factors of negative 40 that add to be 3. If I have a positive 8 and a negative 5, 
8 times negative 5 is negative 40. 8 minus 5 is 3. My 8 over 2 reduces to 4 over 1. So I have 3 parentheses, x plus 4, and then 2x minus 5. So my final answer is 3 times, in one parenthesis, x plus 4, and in the other parenthesis, 2x minus 5. In this example, factor 12w squared minus 19w minus 10. Our a is 12 and our c is negative 10, so that gives us negative 120. Our b is negative 19, so we need two numbers that multiply to be a negative 120 but add to be a negative 19. Divide by my a, which is 12. 5 can go into 120 24 times. 24 take away 5 is 19. I want a negative 19, so I need a negative 24. 5 over 12 doesn't reduce, but negative 24 over 12 reduces to negative 2. One of my parentheses is 12w plus 5. The other parenthesis is w minus 2. So my final answer is one parenthesis, 12w plus 5, the other parenthesis, w minus 2. In this example, factor 20x to the 4th minus 40x to the 3rd minus 25x squared. 20, 40, and 25 all share a factor of 5. x to the 4th, x to the 3rd, x squared all share a factor of x squared, since 2 is my smallest exponent. 20x to the 4th, factor out 5x squared, leaves me with 4x squared. Bring down my minus. 40x to the 3rd, divide out my 5x squared, leaves me with 8x. Bring down my minus. 25x squared, divide out my 5x squared, leaves me with 5. a is 4, c is negative 5, which gives me negative 20. My b is negative 8. Dividing by a. Now I'm ready to look for my two factors that multiply to be a negative 20 but add to be a negative 8. So negative 10 and 2. Negative 10 times 2 is negative 20. Negative 10 plus 2 is a negative 8. Now I can reduce. Negative 10 over 4 reduces to negative 5 over 2. 2 over 4 reduces to 1 half. Bringing down the 5x squared, parenthesis 2x minus 5, parenthesis 2x plus 1. My final answer is 5x squared, parenthesis 2x minus 5, parenthesis 2x plus 1. In this example, factor 6x to the third y squared plus 26x squared y to the third plus 24xy to the fourth. First, we need to find our greatest common factor. For 6, 26, and 24, that's 2. x to the third, x squared, x, that's x to the first. y squared, y to the third, y to the fourth, y squared. 6x to the third, y squared, factoring out 2xy squared leaves me with 3x squared plus 26x squared y to the third factoring out 2xy squared leaves me with 13xy plus 24xy to the fourth factoring out 2xy squared leaves me with 12y squared. So now I'm ready to think about my factoring. A is 3, C is 12, which gives me 36, B is 13, and I divide by A. I need two factors of 36 that add to be 13, which is 4 and 9. 4 thirds doesn't reduce, but 9 thirds does. It reduces to 3. So for my answer, I bring down 2xy squared in one parenthesis. I have 3x plus 4, and the other parenthesis, x plus 3. 
So my final answer is 2xy squared in one parenthesis 3x plus 4 in the other parenthesis x plus 3. Factoring polynomials. Anytime you factor a polynomial, make sure you factor out the greatest common factor first. We can factor trinomials by trial and error. One method to help with that is using the big X, where you have A times C on top, be on bottom and divide each side by a. Find two numbers that multiply to be a times c but add to be b. Or you can factor your trinomials by grouping. You still multiply the a times c. This time you see what adds to be a times c and then you write out four terms and factor by grouping. 